Hello, ladies and gents, and welcome to the December new moon um, information. Oh my gosh, we've got a big one. We've got a total solar eclipse at the same time as new moon. This is going to be huge. And hopefully you've seen from the December energy update quite how big this month is going to be. OK, so like I just said, December new moon is a very, very special one. A new moon total solar eclipse is the most powerful eclipse we can experience. As mentioned, like I just said in the energy update, December the 4th is going to be extraordinarily intense. It is leading us into it, some extremely intense energies through the remainder of the month. However, out of this intensity, as always, will, become, will come great, much needed change. You've got to remember out of the murky waters always ends up coming gold. Whenever there's a dark day, the next day is ever so light. So I would like you to bear that in mind as we step through the month of December. Now, in and around this total eclipse, the truth will be uncovered. Much more so than we have already seen throughout the year of 2021. Revelations will become much more apparent. There is going to be very few places for people to hide from what is going to be coming out. Are you ready to see your life from a whole new perspective? Will you be willing to seize the opportunities that are offered to you to change your life? They're reasonable questions. Are you really ready for this? This is the end of a chapter and the opening of a new chapter. Now, as I have been mentioning for many, many months now, this is the time where we must step into our authenticity. And I'm going to link back to uh, my A for Authenticity video. We must stand in our truth no matter what. You will be faced with easier options than perhaps the ones that you would like to chase. You will be faced with much easier options than the ones that perhaps you would naturally choose. Make the choices that bring you happiness, that fire up your soul rather than your ego saying this is a much easier journey or go along with the crowd or do as you're told. We must recognize that right now our sovereignty, our honesty, our truth is what is separating us from other people. Now, as I have mentioned a few times recently in videos, we're all on our different ascension paths. Some people are like further up the consciousness tree than other people, and that's okay. We are all divinely placed exactly where we are needing to be for this awakening, for this ascension journey, for this stepping into Christ consciousness. So stop comparing, stop doing what other people ask of you. It's about figuring out who you are and what you feel and how you feel best that you are going to step into this journey. Now, as mentioned in the December energy update, new moon eclipses are extremely powerful for manifestation. Extremely powerful. And I've already started doing this. I've already started bringing everything in. So it's the energies are already around us. Now, just as a side note, what I would recommend is doing this ritual from the 3rd of December up, up until about the 15th of December. So there's a 12 day window there, which you can do it. But that's the um, that's the feelings that I'm getting. That's the that's the, the most powerful energy for us to do this. So have you been clear with your manifestations? Have you been clear about what it is that you're looking for? Have you been clear about what you choose? If, the, if you can honestly say that the answer is yes, trust me when I say it's incoming. <laughs> Whatever you have been putting out there will be coming to you. Now, if you haven't been picking the highest vibration, for example, or perhaps you've been saying, oh, my gosh, you know, I really want to do this, but I'm, I'm too fat or I'm not good enough or whatever behind the scenes, you're going to get more of the lower vibration. So be very, very careful. 
whatever you have been putting out, you're going to get back. If you're putting out anger, if you're putting out fear, you're going to get more of that back to you. If you've been putting out love, if you've been saying, I am ready to welcome the most conscious man and have the most beautiful conscious relationship, trust me, that's going to be coming for you. You might get a few road bumps along the way or a few hiccups or a few potential distractions because that's the way that it works. But this is why it's so important to sit in your authentic truth and remember and know what it is that you are choosing for you and then honor it. It's very easy, you know, especially if you're single like myself, it's very easy for you to be like, oh, well, this person is giving me attention. So I'm just going to go out on a date with them or I'm just going to do this when actually there's nothing, you know, they don't align with you. You know, they're not the one for you. So why are you wasting both of your time? This is about standing in your authentic truth. This is about you saying, I'm not going to be doing that. I know what I'm worth and I'm going after what I'm worth. Okay. In obviously whichever way um, you are creating for yourself and your family. Now, if you have been caught up in the busyness of life, don't worry, take a big deep breath and start setting some very clear intentions as soon as possible. As soon as you hear this video, I'm putting it out a few days early so that you've got time to build up for this. Okay. What do you really choose for your future existence? It's a really good question to be asking yourself right now. And is it purposeful for the greatest good of all humanity? That's another really good question to be asking yourself. There's so many people out there. Oh, I want a million pounds because I want to buy a new house and I want to buy a new car. But rather than saying, you know what, I, I really do choose to bring in a million pounds because if I could remove my mortgage, um, it would you know, reduce the amount of hours that I'm away from my children and my partner and our life could be very differently. If I had a new car, I could make sure that my mum gets to the hospital safely and my children get to you know, school or nursery or whatever safely. Or I can go and see my child at university safely. That's what I'm talking about when it's for the greatest good of humanity. It's very important that we connect when we're doing this manifestation work. Manifestation, everybody bands around, you know, and they 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 drop it like it's hot, if you like. Um, you know, it's a very, very, you know, new age buzzword. However, when you can manifest um, truly and deeply, and, and it's very interesting, um, Peter, who recently did my soul attunement, um, he he basically said to me, Lucy, you are one of the most powerful manifestors. And it's true, I am. But that's good, bad and ugly. If I sit and fester on something, trust me, it comes in big time. So I have to be very clear with myself. I have to be very, very clean because I'm literally calling in every, every experience that I'm thinking about and every experience that I'm talking about, I'm bringing in. So this is why I've cleaned up my act. I'm not, I'm not going into those lower vibrations. I'm, I'm vibing at the highest possible level because that's what I, that's the abundance that I want to bring into my life. So ask yourself, ladies and gents, are you ready to see the light at the end of the tunnel? Oh my gosh, I am. Even if you're not, I am. It's your choice how you reach it. Remain in your truth no matter what and embrace the journey, whichever route, whichever direction you decide to take, embrace every second of it. This new moon, this total solar eclipse is going to be powerful and it's going to be your friend. So, ladies and gents, quickly pause the video and go and grab yourself a piece of paper and a pen so you can write down what is needed for the new moon ritual. Again, as I always say, if this resonates with you, please do it. If you're like, nope, I don't use the moon energies for anything. Fine. Scroll on past this bit. Go to the end of the video, um, you know, to see to see what other videos I've tagged at the end of it. It's completely up to you. There is no right or wrong way. There's no, you know, it's completely down to you. I provided people the, this information because that's what people ask me to do. So I channel it, I bring in the energies and I um, look to do things to vibrate at the highest possible rate. As I know that there are many people out there that say, oh, you know, the moon energy is this or this is that. So what I do is I tap in and I'm like, okay, if people want to do this, right, what's the highest vibration you can give us to do that? OK, so go grab yourself a piece of paper, pause the video and I will be giving you your list for the ritual in one moment. 
Okay, welcome back, ladies and gents. So the um, list of things that you're going to need for this ritual is, number one, a cleansing tool of choice, essential oils to diffuse if you've got them. If you don't, don't worry about it. It's not the end of the world. Candles. And if you've got a candle, obviously something to light it with. And for your cleansing tool of choice, most of them, you will need something to light it with anyway. So do make sure that you've got a lighter or some matches, some music, maybe something on YouTube, some Solfeggio frequencies or the Milan or something like that, something beautiful that's going to really create inspirational vibrations within your cells. You're going to need a piece of pen, a piece of pen, a piece of paper and a pen. And also you're going to need a glass or a bowl of water. Don't get excited. We're not going to be burning anything today, ladies and gents, just to manage expectations. <laughs> OK, so step number one, as always, is cleanse your aura. Now, as you are cleansing your aura, so the field that runs around your body, say something along the lines of I am a powerful manifester. I can create and bring into my reality anything of which I choose. I am worthy of all I see and feel in my heart's desires. Something beautiful, something uplifting, something really, really beautifully manifesting. That's what we're looking for here. Step number two, cleanse your space. So if you're doing it in your apartment or your house or a room in your house, go around and clear, cleanse your space. If you're doing it outside, I would still give um, the, the air and the space a little bit of attention and say something along the lines of, this sacred space is capable of encapsulating and holding the energy of all my heart's desires. This space is filled with love and light and truth and promise. I call in, welcome in the energies that will support this powerful period of manifestation. Step number three, prepare your space. Light your candle, diffuse your essential oils, pop your music on. Obviously, if you choose any of those things, you might not choose to do that. And then get comfortable because step number four, we're going into some meditation. I would like you to allow yourself to drift off into a 12 minute meditation. Set an alarm if you need to. Visualize where you have come from at the start of the year. For a minute or two, just allow yourself to visualize where was I at the beginning of the year? Allow yourself to relive the memories of all that has been and gone over the last 11 months leading up to the month of December. And then see in your mind's eye all that you have been working on, creating, manifesting over the past 11 months. Remind your soul, remind your cells that this is the time it comes into reality. Step number five, when you are out of your meditation and you feel connected back into your human vessel, take your piece of paper and start to write all of which you have been manifesting through the year. Also, anything that might have popped up in your mind's eye during the meditation, remember to ensure, remember to ensure Remember to bring all of this in from the highest good of humanity to ensure it's coming in at rapid speed. So we can really bring things in very quickly as long as we are going to the highest level of good. Now, I'm not saying that if you do manifestation from a law of attraction perspective, it's not going to happen. I'm just saying this is choosing the quickest way to bring things in. OK, so step number six. Now, as always, I, I get you to write it because it puts it into our cells. It reminds them of what we choose and how we would like that to feel. Then, obviously, a st uh, step number six says we read them through. Now, this helps us cement it into our cells even further. We are basically imprinting it in our DNA as we do this. So read through everything that you have just put on your list to manifest. Now, the seventh and final step for today's ritual is once you have read it and digested it and you've really, really felt it in your body, like really allowed yourselves to vibrate in it, scrunch the piece of paper up or fold it or whatever and pop it in a glass of water or in a bowl of water, whichever you've got. And let it go soggy, you know, let it go a bit manky. Um, I've got paper mache going around my head right now. Obviously, it's not going to be glue, but, you know, you know, that kind of thing where the paper goes really, really mushy. 
Once you've done that, take it outside into the new moon vibrations and ask Mama Gaia, Mother Nature, whatever you want to call her, to support bringing this in for you. Ask for her assistance. Ladies and gents, you are ready. The time is now. Obviously, once you've done that, um, you can either when you're when you're asking Mother Nature for help, you can either pop the paper into the soil so that because obviously it's biodegradable um, and allow the earth to do its thing. Or you can go and pop it in the recycling bin or the rubbish bin. OK, remember, when you go back into your space, blow out your candle. And ladies and gents, we are done. Happy new moon, you gorgeous bunch. Happy total solar eclipse, babes. I am so proud of us all. We've made it this far. We've got so many more exciting things to come. I'm going to just tag back to the December energy video so that you guys can just watch that again and allow that to implement into yourselves once and for all. I'll see you in the next video, guys.